What's up, YouTube? This is Firehearts is one video. I am your host, Benjamin Stites. What's up? What's up? What's up? What y'all doing today? <laughs> Figured out if I add the, my lamp to my light in the bedroom that I can get better light for you guys to see me in. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways. So you may be, you may not be asking, what is Benjamin going to upload today? <laughs> well, hmm. <sighs> I've had a situation with the... Uh, thinking. Situation with thinking. Does that make any sense? I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I've been thinking a lot about this world and people of this world and <sighs> just things that goes on in this world. Craziness that goes on in this world. Um, um, mm, that was good. <laughs> Um, that's the last time you see me take a bite of my food, okay? <laughs> just uh, just picking on you, letting you know that I'm eating. Yep, mm, delicious. <laughs> delicious hot dogs. Yep, yep. <laughs> Anyways, um, <sighs> thinking mostly on love and marriage. I mean, is it worth it? Is love and marriage worth it? Of course it is. Is it hard? Is love hard? Yes. Marriage hard? Heck yes. But is it worth it? Oh, indubitably to be. Yes, it is worth it. Yeah, I know I didn't see that right, but... <laughs> I was just playing around anyways. I don't use big words. <laughs> I can. But, you know, lately, big words just don't roll off the top of my head like they used to. Getting my, I got my nerd puff going on up in here tonight. Anyways, um, marriage and love. Love and marriage, marriage and love. <laughs> um, talk a little seriously here. Now, God said that there would be one man and one woman, which makes two people, but man and woman, one man, one woman, and, and a union, a marriage. Um, does that get very hard to deal with sometimes? Uh, if you don't have Christ, I'm sure it does. It gets very, very hard because you don't have a God who loves you to go to during your love and your marriage. You might have troubles, but you know. If you have God, marriage is completely worth it. Love is completely worth it. Hurtful things might be said every once in a while. Dumb things might be done. We're human. We live in sinful bodies. But thanks be to God, I am saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, my friend. And through that blood, I can get through my shortcomings as a human. Through God's wisdom and strength. I can learn to love my wife more than anything in this world. Well, of course, can't love her more than God, but he's technically not of this world, right? So, that's beyond the point. <laughs> um, you know, if you love somebody without that marriage, I mean, without Christ's love in you first, you know what love is, but it's a conditional love. It's not unconditional, like God wants it to be. It's, you do this for me and I'll do this for you. But that's not what Christ wants, that's not what God wants. God showed, 
our marriage, a marriage is supposed to be the picture of Christ's love. That sacrifice that Christ did for us. Okay? So, if he sacrificed for us his own blood to cover our sins, our marriage is supposed to be a picture of that. Marriages are supposed to be a picture of that. And if you don't know Christ, and you're living in marriage, and you're living of this world, well, then you can't have that sacrificial love, so it becomes conditional. And if somebody screws up too many times, say cheating, beating, whatever it is, Without Christ, none of that can be forgiven. None of marriage cannot last. With Christ, if you are actually focusing on Christ and not of yourself, your marriage can last through a lot and lot of stuff. Now you might be asking, Ben, why are you putting this on YouTube? Because I feel that you need to know this. That's why YouTube's made not just for your entertainment, but for people to get out their thoughts, their feelings, and yes, dare I say, their convictions. Not just for entertainment. So, why do you think you see a lot of pastors and preachers and everything on YouTube? Well, if you love somebody with a conditional love, your marriage is going to end. But you say, well, what if they had the conditional love and I had unconditional love and they went ahead and wanted to end the marriage anyways. And say I found a woman that I love a lot and I know for a fact that she was the one and that she is meant for me, but I'm afraid to give her my heart. I'm afraid to sacrifice that. For her. Well, just if you know Christ and you know you've been hurt, what are you supposed to do, anyways? Give all your worries and cares upon Him, right? So, if you're worried this woman or man is going to hurt you, like the other one did, give it to Christ. Let Him deal with it. If you know you're supposed to be married, then sacrifice your personal feelings because feelings come from the heart and the heart is deceitfully wicked. If you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's the one you want, that's the one God gave you, that's the one that's supposed to be for you but you're scared to be hurt again, give it to God. Let God deal with it. You know, it's 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 like, well, they hurt me and said something hurtful. Well, hurtful things will be said if you're not living for Christ and living for yourself. And there's sometimes you're so scared of being hurt again that you accidentally hurt the person that you know you're supposed to be with. Well, forgive that person for hurting you. Be with them in their time of need. And God will take that hurt away. And show them how to respect and love you better. That's how I feel. I don't know. You know. I'm no expert. Okay. On love. And I'm no expert on God. I am a Christian. I do believe Jesus died for myself. But I struggle with sin. More than I would like to. But. And I, I admit, I don't read my Bible like I should, and sometimes I sound like a hypocrite, especially when I'm doing video game reviews and I accidentally cuss. You know, like the D-word. That's the one I use the most, the D-word, but... I don't really cuss that much except for the D-word and the, using hell as a cuss word, you know, but... 
I know God's working a mighty work in my life, dude. I have an awesome wife. I have two awesome kids. My wife and kids are here because God sent me to protect them. God loves me enough to show me how to love them. Loves me enough to even if I'm not reading my Bible like I should, which I'm going to start getting into it a heck of a lot more than I have been. Because there's just been crazy stuff going on that only God can take care of. Like for instance, somebody coming to steal your your laptop. And that's not nothing to do with marriage, but steal your laptop to get out of town because they got a hit on them and they're running from the law. Like my so-called friend did. <clears throat> and you have to buy a new one for your class. That caused a lot. It does cause some problems in the marriage because my wife was, you know, very upset about it. But if I'm here to sacrifice for her, here to sacrifice for my kids, my selfish, selfishness will not win out and God's love will. I need to be in my Bible reading His Word, figuring out how to get over the hurtful words and everything that has been said during my marriage, hurtful things done in my marriage. Love God more, love my family more. My wife and I have never been closer than we are now. I can tell you that the sacrificial love that I have been given her by staying with her through the trials and tribulations has made this marriage and this love a lot better. I'm uh, running out of time. That was just my thoughts on marriage and on love. And why it's worth it. Yes, if you know Jesus Christ and you know Jesus Christ loves you, and you know Jesus Christ wants you with this person, then marriage is worth it. If not, I don't think any marriage even would last, and if it does, it's not a happy one. My marriage is very happy right now, and it's only because of Christ's love that He's shown me through sacrifices that dying on the cross. Anyways, DAFTVA, God bless you. Till later, YouTube. Peace out. Make sure you subscribe.